Welcome back. We are in the kitchen with Market District Chef Ben D'Amico, who says when it's fall, we must cook with pumpkin. You it's have mandatory. to. You have to. Mm -hmm. I love pumpkin. Pumpkin flavor everything this time of year. So we are excited to find out that we're making two dishes. Two dishes. Not all of it's pumpkin. Squash. Okay. Yeah, it's squash. Uh, oh, okay. But pumpkin okay. is still That's the overwhelming the right? theme because everybody's comfortable with pumpkins, pumpkin spice. But we're gonna we're gonna use pumpkin spice, and you know it's not just for drinks and sweet stuff. So we're actually gonna use it in two savory sal uh, methods today. Okay. okay. So the first one, let's get started. We're gonna we did I did some roasted butternut squash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just peeled, seeded, roasted. It's a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of pumpkin spice. Yeah. So it has the sweet, spicy kind of salty flavor. It's really it's tough though. I mean it's hard to even slice through. So do you put it whole in the oven or do you? Still I I, I peel it actually beforehand and then I cut it from there. Okay. So I like okay. to do it a little. It's a little harder, but peel it and then seed it and then cut it. Okay. So you then put a it in tray the oven. of the pieces and then you sprinkle on and just put it. in the Yes, oven. I actually dice it before I put it in the oven. Okay. And then roast it like that, or you can just buy it actually pre-chopped in the produce department. So if you don't want to go oh, through any of that, method, just buy a pre-chop. Yeah. That's the easiest. Perfect. And then we also have some roasted Brussels sprouts mm, here. So we're gonna make a roasted Brussels, Brussels sprout um, and butter squash salad. So okay. salads, all salads, don't have to be warm or cold, or they don't have to be cold. They can be warm or room temperature. So we're gonna start with this, which is just. This is uh, about two pounds of butternut squash once it's roasted and about two pounds of Brussels sprouts that are roasted. And it's 350 in the oven for about 35, 45 minutes until they start to brown and soften. To this, we're also going to add in some bacon. Yes. Uh, yeah. Some, some <laughs> nice hunks of a thick excited. cut bacon. <laughs> and then we're going to add some cranberries as well. Dried cranberries and some pecans, toasted pecans. You said pecans, not pecans. Yeah, is that a northern, southern? I think which it's one a is that? Thing. I'm not sure which is which, but yeah. <laughs> I grew up here in '84, so I. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, to this, we're going to add balsamic dressing. So you can okay. use any kind of oil, vinegar, any kind of dressing you like. The balsamic kind of is a quick and easy. Um, so any, whatever your favorite brand is, um, just toss that together. And then we're just going to give this a quick toss. This is a very easy, kind of rustic salad. That looks so and Again, funny. you can serve yeah. it warm. You can serve it cold. It goes it's great so all fall. the way through. Yes, it's the very colors fall. Are just, it's so fall. Well, it, it, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe I could serve this for Thanksgiving. You absolutely you sure could, could right? serve this for Thanksgiving. Pretty it is. And you can do it ahead of time. And again, if you just wanted to garnish it, you could add a little bit of parsley, a little bit of color just to make okay. it pop a little bit. That would be all you need. All there. right, so we're going to serve ourselves some, right? Please, yes. And you're going to work on the next one. I'm going to work on the next one, which is, is really my pretty dish. Thank um, you. So this is going a more rustic home style. And the next dish we're going to do is a roasted acorn squash which is the little green and orange guy over here, um, and then mm. a roasted pumpkin. So what you do here is actually leave the skin on. I seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and a little bit of pumpkin spice just to get that fall flavor. Um, in the oven, about 20 minutes until it gets soft. Um, and then you get like a nice golden kind of brown. Again, this dish can also be served at room temperature, hot or cold. So here I have this nice slate, any kind of cutting board or any kind of uh, nice presentation plate you have works perfectly. And we're just going to go ahead and first add our couple pieces of squash. This is so good. Mm -hmm. And it's Thank so you. easy. It's very easy. The, the, the squash is the hardest piece. Right. The bacon puts it over the top. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> so here I'm just going to line up a couple pieces of squash and the pumpkin. And you can use butternut squash. You can. There's so many different squashes and stuff out there. They all kind of cook in. You in, pick what you like. Up. Pick what okay. you like. This is just more or less. I like the skin on approach. Um, here we have a little bit of arugula, uh, so we're just going to kind of sprinkle on top. This is going to add that peppery piece to it, um, and then I leave leaves a little bit extra on the side. Mm -hmm. To that, we're also going to add some grains. Again, fall feel a little better about it. So this is some farro and quinoa. You can add rice, brown rice, bulgur, any kind of grain you want, whatever you prefer to cook. This just adds a little bit of texture. I'm not good at cooking grains. No. No, what goes I wrong? find them really hard to you cook. You can you can also buy grains and rice that are already done in packets that work just as well. So yeah. So those, <laughs> those are a little short. I've a couple times. It's never. Yeah. Okay. The, the market has really expanded into cooked grains, so you can find a lot of varieties that are very easy to do or quick or easy. This is so artistic, Ben. That this is that's what I was going for today. <laughs> uh, to this, then we're going to add a little bit of red onion. Just we're kind of going to sprinkle on a little bit of shavings, not too much. And then some goat cheese. And this is a new market district honey goat cheese. So oh, it's a sweeter I love goat cheese. Honey goat so it's got some honey blended into it so you don't need to drizzle it. I've never top. had a honey goat cheese. Yeah, we have a couple new varieties, and this is one of the, my favorites. Okay. So just sprinkle a little bit on there for a little bit of color. You can use ricotta, you can use fatty, you can use blue cheese too. Oh, no, the honey goat just seems to go pretty well. Yeah. It's delicious. Just the name of it. Uh, we're going to add some pepitas, some toasted pumpkin seeds. 
Make sure they're toasted, not raw. And then a little bit of, this is a Dijon maple vinaigrette. And all mm. it is is maple syrup, red uh, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, pepper, and Dijon mustard. Yum. Cool. You just oh, mix I can't it in a blender. To try that. And we're going to just sprinkle a little bit on top of this. Before we run out of time, I know you're wrapping up here. You guys also have some great things that you can find in the bakery and we absolutely. All that. So it's uh, it's pumpkin season, um, so you can get all sorts of your pumpkin muffins, pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake, roll. pumpkin roll, pumpkin Even pie. This, this is delicious. We have a fall flavored uh, pumpkin uh, popcorn mm -hmm. um, oh. at the market district, and we have pumpkin spice. Uh, so anything pumpkin, pumpkin soup, pumpkin coffee. So I know everybody's kind of maybe over pumpkin at this point, but there's no. still a great time to celebrate. No, we're not over pumpkin. Oh, uh, perfect. We're, we're not over pumpkin. We're not. That should be our hashtag. Yes. Not over pumpkin. Not over pumpkin. Um, we're loving it. So, Thank so, you. And yeah. this is gorgeous. So great I added job some grilled this. lemons oh, if they stay on the plate, and it's really just kind of helps serve yourself and. and yeah, just grab some some good butternut squash. And Thank you done, so much, Chef. Ben. Thank well, you. and our thanks to Giant Eagle for sponsoring the Cooking Corner here on PTL. For a copy of today's recipes, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. Mm. We have Ben's recipes right there for you.